Greta Thunberg and many climate activists strike every Friday from school. Every Friday. So my question is, should you strike from school or homeschool? Should you strike from your education every Friday? What do you think? You think you could write in the chat, yes, no, or question mark, okay? All answers are allowed here, remember. Yes, no, or question mark. And let's see if we'll get a little response from everybody. Um, and then whoever wants to speak and it can come in. I can see Santi wants to come in. So while people are responding, Santi, would you start us off, please? So you, you probably shouldn't do it every Friday because eventually all those missed lessons will pile up and then you won't know what you're doing mm. um, when it's not Friday. But maybe you should do it. You should protest some Fridays and other Fridays you should just do some do some school. Uh, but it is important. So I'm kind of in the middle. And Sandy, talk to us about what your your misgivings about striking every Friday. Talk about what puts you off there, what concerns you. You talked a little bit about missing stuff. Can you just expand on that, please? Dante, you're muted, Dante. If you just unmute yourself. We can also do it from school by writing letters to um, people in Parliament, that kind of thing. Thank you. Make a difference whether you're in school or not. You can make a difference when you're in school. So, do you, Dante, yeah. what do you think is the most effective thing for a young person like you to do? Is it to try and make a difference whilst being in school on a Friday? Or is it to protest by missing school on a Friday, in your opinion? Um, oh, we've lost you again, Dante. You're muted. Can you unmute yourself? Yeah, sorry. Um, so I'm not really sure. I mean, actually being there might be stronger, so skipping school might be stronger, but mm -hmm. if you just keep pestering them by writing letters to them, they may eventually try to do something. Thank you. Thank it's you. really hard to choose. Sure. Um, Sasha R, then Kai. And my question was, should you be skipping school or homeschool every Friday? Um, what do you think, what do you say, Sasha R? I just want to say beforehand, I have no say in this because I don't really, I'm homeschooled mm -hmm. and I don't really do much schooling, to be honest. Yeah. And um, also, you should be skipping in school. People should do that because it shows the government they don't care about learning if the world's going to end. Thank you, Sasha. Kai. Um, also, what made me say yes is the fact that one person in the video said that they, uh, children shouldn't be skipping school for the crisis. So if you do skip school for the crisis, they'll have to go, okay, how can we keep them at school? And they'll have to do something if that's the only thing that's going to keep you at school. Because they want you to have your education as well as um as well you can care about your world but they want you to have an education so if they want to keep you at school then uh that might be the way to get to them and also um i think um it doesn't have to be every single week week after week month after month so that it's piling up and piling up you can uh pester them indirectly as in like uh letters um and continuously trying to uh communicate to them you don't always have to be there in person thank you Kai. because you can be turned away in person but in a the letter they don't know what you're talking about until they actually read the letter thank you sky do you think young people should be foregoing their education on any day of the week or any month of the year 
to protest against inaction about the climate crisis? I think, yeah, because it, if we pester them enough, then soon enough they get annoyed of us and start thinking, oh, well, we need to do something to keep them in school. Um, Luca, what do you think? Do you think people, do you think young people should give up their education for this cause? Oops, I was muted. Basically, I don't think so because Remember, you're dealing with the government here. The government can always find an alternate solution. For example, just orphaning the kids or something like that. It, like, it really, the government wouldn't let the kids win. They just, they just wouldn't. They're the government of all things. Oh, I heard Kai's eyes widen when you said orphaning the kids. I wonder if you could say what you mean there. Luca, do you think you could expand slightly? When you say the government will find a way of stopping the kids, could you just expand slightly? Basically, they would uh, either find the parents or not find the, the transcript. Anyway, they would either give them a fine or they would um, send them to prison and then uh, get the children away, send them somewhere else. Ah, so we've had, some, we've had, so far we've had some, some participants saying, look, if we pester enough, the government will have to listen. The government thinks that education is important, so they'll have to listen to us. But now Luke is saying that the government, if they don't want to act, they'll just put the parents of children who don't go to school into prison. What do people think? Do you think you should risk your education and risk your parents getting in trouble to protest um, like the Fridays for Future young people are doing? Sky. Um, they can't go for it, Sky. They can't eventually put everyone's parents in prison because if everyone skipped school or even if they went after school hours, they can't put people's parents, everyone's parents, in prison for that. If eventually enough people contribute, then they can't put everyone's parents in prison, can they? Do you want to come back on that, Luca? Then they would find an alternate solution. They are still the government. They can do anything. And can I ask you, Luca, do you think the yeah, government no. is so opposed to acting for the climate crisis that it would rather do silence the parents and stop the those kids? It stop. would mm -hmm. if the government was a bit less stubborn. Mm -hmm. Because if the government eventually just did something and put us back into education, that would be the government being too nice, in my opinion. The government is never nice. It never get, lets us win. It, it really doesn't. So what basically the thing is, they would find a different solution. They would, I don't know what they would do, but the, they, would, they would definitely find a solution that isn't putting the, doing something about climate change. Like they definitely Thank you. would. Let's just go to Kai, because I can see um, lots of emotions happening in this space. Kai, do you want to respond to anything you've heard before we go to Daniel? Um, I think that, um, opposed to Luca, I think that the government wouldn't be so extreme as to punish the parents because of their children's independent act. And if they would have punished the parents, then wouldn't they have done it with Greta Thunberg instead of actually start listening to her? 